Taiwan leaders really made it, made it clear, made waves at that conference with their perception of their importance of the ocean in ways that really represented the new understanding of the value of the ocean to everyone. It's been clear throughout all of our history the value of what we can take out of the ocean, the value of things, a place that we can throw things that we don't want near where we live. But to see the ocean as a living system that is really literally the heartbeat of the planet, to respect it, care for it, maintain it, understanding that it isn't just a matter of wealth, it's a matter of all the things that are important to humans, health, security, life itself. Then again, I listened to President Romina Sal speak at a conference in Palau where the Pacific Island Forum was held in July of this year. Leaders from throughout the Pacific gathered. He mesmerizes people from everywhere who come to listen with his rationale, his articulate way of expressing why the ocean matters, the urgency of action now. And most recently, I heard him speak at the Small Island Developing States Conference, the United Nations Conference in Apia, Samoa. So, President Ramingasau, would you please come forward and, and share with us comments that will lead to accepting your award for 2014? Friends, but better yet, uh, fellow children of the ocean. I, first of all, I want to thank uh, her royal deepness, <laughs> Dr. Sylvia Earl, for that lovely introduction. Uh, she has many titles, but uh, the one I liked, I learned the other day, because I call her the mermaid. <laughs> And she is, of course, a very loving mother. And most of you know her as Mommy Deepest. <laughs> but if we are going to do something meaningful about the ocean, we have to have more people like Sylvia Earl and all of you in this room to make a difference. Ladies and gentlemen, I will not preach to the choir tonight. I will simply ask that I accept the award. First of all, thank the elders, ocean elders and all of you here for that recognition. But I will accept the award only on behalf of our traditional ocean elders back home. You see, they are the ones who have been practicing the concept of marine sanctuary of protect, protective area networks, of no tape zones, generations after generations until now. They early on knew the knowledge and this knowledge folks have been scientifically researched and confirmed. They have practiced the fact that if you open the entire reef to fishing, then the population of that reef will deplete faster, much faster than if you were to just set aside one third of that reef. Then that one third will replenish, will regenerate, will nurture, will act as a safe haven, and therefore ensure that two thirds of the reef that is open to fishing will sustain itself and we live on longer for generations to come. That is the concept of this award tonight and what we try to do with the marine sanctuary. Yes, it's the size of France. For those of you in the United States, I'm sure we all know about the size of Texas. 
It's a big state. It's practically the entire exclusive economic zone of my country. But why are we doing it? Folks, it's not only about food security, it also happens to be about economic security. For we have done our research and found out that one life shark is worth 1.9 million over the 70 to 80 years of its lifetime. Then a death shark for shark fin soup, which is going to cost about a couple of hundred dollars. So that's the reality. And why are we doing it? Because we have got to think of the Pacific as a total economic, exclusive economic zone. What we're doing to Palau and what we hope other nations of the Pacific and for that matter throughout the world, if we can set at least one third of our reefs, of our oceans, then the whole idea of supplementing the open areas for commercial fishing and harvesting and whatever you have, will have a future, especially for the next generation. So tonight, I'm not going to say anything more because there's so many things, good things that has been said. All I ask is that, and maybe Dr. Earl can best say it in so many words, but what the, I lay on the table as our challenge is that we have got to stop thinking only of what is in our best interest of this generation. We have got to think about the best interest and welfare of the next generation, our children and their children. Only, only by thinking and acting and mobilizing that way can the planet Earth indeed have a chance. So thank you very much, fellow children of the ocean.